we will pass it on to others and we will make sure that support is available to those who need it. We will also carry out ongoing surveillance and furnish the public with up-to-date information about transmission rates and significant clusters. That system of test and protect run by NHS Scotland is already being used on a case-by-case -case basis. From the end of this month, it will be available on an expanded basis in every health board across the country. That timescale gives us added confidence that we can take the first careful steps on our journey out of lockdown from next week. Test and Protect will be a crucial tool in controlling this virus. However, it will be most effective if we continue to suppress the virus so that the number of infections reduces further. And that is why our emergence from lockdown must be gradual and phased. Today's route map outlines four phases in emerging from the COVID crisis beyond the current lockdown phase. And it covers nine key aspects of our lives, seeing friends and family, travel and getting around, education and childcare, work, business and the economy, shopping and leisure, sport and culture, public gatherings and special occasions, communities and public services, and health and social care. We are legally required to review the lockdown restrictions every three weeks. The next review date is next Thursday at the 28th of May. Providing that we continue to make progress in tackling COVID over the next week and in particular see no regression in our progress so far, I can confirm that the government intends to move from lockdown to phase one and thereby lift some restrictions from the 28th of May. As we enter later phases, as and when the evidence allows, more restrictions will be removed, details of the relevant criteria to be met and restrictions to be eased in each phase are set out in the document.